things you have to do for chai i came all the way here just to have chai yes that's that's how much i like chai which is why it's called chai time data science but i'm here to talk about the chai time data science story today i still don't know what this has nawal lobi khan said in 1000 universes you'd like to be successful in 999 of them and not be successful in just one way you got lucky so after my podcast hit 1 million views overall which was a number i never expected i've said this multiple times but it still is i thought uh, i should try a new challenge i i enjoyed content creation uh, which was a service to the community i didn't intent i didn't think of this of getting anywhere i decided let, let me start a podcast so that's how that's how all of this started but after ending the blog so to speak i decided let me start interviewing my heroes as a service to the community and i decided to lay down a few principles that would guide me through the process the first one was since i didn't just want to be successful in this alternate universe by tying it to my blog i decided to start this independent of my blog which meant that i wouldn't promote my interviews through the blog i wouldn't use my blog to cross promote this otherwise the numbers the streams would come with a large bag of salt not just a small grain of salt and i chose to be very respectful of the time of the people that i got to interview the community which meant that i wouldn't over promote any of this now when when you're so much involved in anything when you're trying to do it with all of your time you staying up all night some of the interviews happen at 3 am which i very happily do but it's like curing cancer to you it's the most important thing in your perspective but it's really not it's just another podcast that i was running so it's really hard to dial back and not ask everyone to subscribe ask everyone to watch it and maybe that's one of the reasons maybe that's one of the failures that this podcast hasn't reached where it should be but uh to me having respectfully shared is more important than just spamming everyone with the interviews and even still many people tune in so i i think that's that's turned out fine the other ones were not turn this into business not make this my job i already have one full time role i couldn't handle another one this takes up pretty much all of my free time so i made an explicit decision to turn down all of the money to run this as a service to the community and and as a test to my tenacity publish two interviews after drinking a lot of chai every thursday every sunday 9 am pacific no exception but i learned this process of creating content through fast ai which is still the world's best deep learning course i am a moderator on it but i am biased i would still fight till the end that it's the best deep learning course jeremy howard one of my heroes said do one thing do it really 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 well so that's pretty much what of i all that i did in 2020 i interviewed my machine learning heroes throughout 2020 why why do this why all of this madness uh, when i started creating content i was at this crossroads of uh, different options different directions that i saw myself learning about and i try to think a lot about the legacy so to speak of content how long will it remain relevant do, do you remember the papers you read last year which ones of them really stood out to you do you even remember the names which framework was a problem last year and now it's all good and these forms of content have their own importance but i decided to leave all of those things leave technical deep dives to people much smarter than me that were already doing a great job and i decided to accept the challenge and fill a gap that i saw that i wasn't happy with in the community which was sharing the journey of machine learning heroes how did they get to where they are how did they make it how did a kagel grandmaster who's ranked number 
I had the chance to interview many people who are number one in different categories multiple times. How did they get started? How did they get to the point where they are today? And did they just submit and get to the top of the leaderboard? How did they have to learn? Were there any frustrations? These these were the stories that I found missing to an extent that I didn't enjoy, and that's what I decided to contribute to. But why why follow this mad release schedule? Two episodes a week is is. is a schedule uh, i have to edit videos i have to record audio i have to fix the audio i have to do some graphic fixing uh, and i need to make sure i have interview people to keep the runway going so why why this madness uh, one of the reasons was i really wanted to write madman on my resume the other one was i really wanted to test my tenacity so uh, setting myself up to such an impossible goal and maybe it was just hard to me maybe it'll come naturally to you uh, I decided to take up the challenge prove to myself that I could really really do this for no reason for no particular reason uh Tim Detmers told me that you should really pursue your passion uh I know I enjoy deep learning but I really wanted to do this so overnight pretty much I decided to start this podcast and here here I am right now and what I've learned about tenacity uh that's one thing that's really emphasized in the community be tenacious in your efforts i think it's easy to get started with any project now chai time data science could be a very silly project to compare with any but what happens when you run out of that honeymoon period what happens when you get bored of it how do you keep going now it's easy for me to say after the climb it's very easy to say look where it's gotten but when it's frustrating it's very frustrating things aren't working uh, the only way it couldn't have gotten to the number of streams it's been streamed 100 175000 times today across 110 countries for 50000 hours the only way this wouldn't have gotten to where it is is if i would have quit midway and i think that's that's where tenacity comes into play uh, now you if you're pursuing something for a really long time or with all your speed at it you wouldn't be dumb about it you wouldn't keep doing the same thing you'll get smart about it you'll find out ways to improve since you're passionate about it right it's not a forced job job and i think that's that's one thing i've learned about tenacity for me i i still very much respect each and every one of the people that even consider tuning into the interviews it's been streamed sometimes for 100 hours every week sometimes even 1000 hours every single week which is ridiculous but uh it did take a few challenges uh, it was quite tough sometimes it did take uh when you have a mic i try not to portray too much uh, negativity or try to cry too much because this is my complete opinion but it did take some some physical some financial some social uh some personal challenges 2020 being the year that it was but if i were put in the same version of 2020 all over again i would do it from the beginning there you go i said it i said it i would do it all over again in 2020 being put in the same position just because it's been so much fun uh, throughout this journey not not just being able to interview so many nice people not just being able to meet them but just being able to push this to the community as a service that it was intended to and i hope the energy does come across chai has ai in it but it also has a lot of h2o this wouldn't have been possible without the people the wonderful makers over at h2o i get to interview a lot of them we have the best of the best working at where i get to work i get to work at h2o.ai and not just with the interviews but also with their constant guidance it's since i've joined the podcast has grown 15 times in the number of streams probably more than that at this point and a lot of it goes to uh, goes a lot of the credit goes to h2o shout out to every single one of the people who were kind enough to write back who were kind enough to tune in write suggestions just appreciate the process i don't think this would have been possible without you uh, fun fact the interviews happen sometimes at 3 am sometimes at 11 pm all over the clock the chai that very much i enjoy in every single episode has been made by my mother she wakes up has the chai ready because i'm so busy trying to figure out the questions my parents my father has watched pretty much all of the episodes he is the one who is actually holding the camera right now and just the community i have gotten to 175000 streams 
I started this as a goal of the next thing after my blog. The blog was read for around three years. The podcast has been seen for more than five years. More than five years. I it takes time for me to let that feeling sink in, that number sink in. But forty thousand hours, probably it's it's close to fifty now since it was a long time ago that I checked this number. But it's been seen for that number of hours, which is just just plain ridiculous. And at last. Uh, I was quite burnt out through the process. Uh, I was enjoying it, but I was still burnt out, which means that uh, a I'm fortunate enough to be in a position where people sometimes write to me uh, asking questions, uh, asking for help, and sometimes, quite a few times, I might have been late with the replies. Uh, I have been, I've also been a bad son, a bad friend, a bad colleague to many people who are still kind enough to me. and for that i would like to apologize hopefully the energy that i was trying to conserve trying to put in to the podcast uh, was worth it maybe you enjoyed the interviews uh, i hope so and shout out to the 3850 people who have subscribed to this channel i have never explicitly ever asked someone to subscribe just because i think people in at least the data science world would subscribe if they like the content i don't need to blast them every second please subscribe please subscribe just saying those words so to each and every one of you to the 175000 streams to those humongous hours and to those 133 episodes the people that i got to meet uh, i owe this to you thank you thank you for making this journey worth it it's it's been a lot of fun it's been a lot of uh, it's been very surreal for me to be honest with you and now that i'm ending season 1 which means that i will continue the series but not just as this crazy pace i have proven the point that i wanted to prove to myself and i'm looking out for the next goals uh, i hope you enjoyed this journey i hope you'll join me in whatever i come up with next uh, hopefully that'll be in the next video where i'll try to review my goals and uh, share what's next but thank you so much for being a part of this journey and thank you so much for having chai or whatever you drink uh, i don't judge <laughs> with me on this series thanks for watching